What's the next page? What's your favorite insect? Bats. The ladybug. You like ladybugs? Mm -hmm. Okay, what's the next page? How are you? Nice to meet you, Salvador. Ricardo? Yeah, Ricardo. Ricardo, nice to meet you, Ricardo. Kellen! He been such a good boy. Wow, okay, we give that one to you. You gotta listen to this guy's talk. How are you, sir? Good morning. Say hi. You're getting all these monster trucks. How cool. You've already got three. We'll get them back there, all right? All right, thank you, guys. So my son, Kellen, is three and a half years old. And he had um, been seeing a dentist regularly every six months um, since he was a year old and never found any problems until he went in for his uh, three-year checkup and we were told that there was a little bit of decay and he needed to see a pediatric specialist um, and by the time we were able to get an appointment for that it was a couple of months later and we went in and had x-rays taken and were told that he had pretty serious decay and we were looking at several root canals, baby root canals um, they had wanted to uh, do amalgam fillings, up to seven or eight fillings in his mouth, as well as the root canals. And my husband and I were concerned about uh, the root canals, as well as the amalgam, that not being very, very safe for him. Um, they didn't really give us any other options at uh, the other places that we were looking into. Um, so I did some looking around, and I found uh, this this place. and. Um, we came in for an initial consultation and were told that no amalgam would be used and it would be much, much safer and uh, a little bit of an easier process as well. Um, we were also told that he would need a phrenectomy, which uh, was never explained to us at the other place. Um, and so we're here today to do, do his procedure and uh, with the use of the laser, we're hoping that it will be a little less uh, painful for him and uh, we're very happy that he won't have amalgam fillings that we have to deal with. And we're ready to get this taken care of. All right, guys, let's march in there. Oh, you're a guy getting big, huh? Let's see. Can I look at your hand for a second? You dig dirt, huh? Or you haul dirt more than anything. Is that a, is that a dump truck? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, let's take a look at this hand over here. Wow. Are you strong? <laughs> you had an owie there. What happened? Did you fall? You must have been running really fast, right? All right. Let's clean your hand. There we go. Put a little glove around your arm, okay? And over here, it's gonna give you a big hug. It's gonna make it nice and tight, okay? We're gonna see how strong you are. Are you strong like Daddy? Or are you stronger than him? Yeah. You're so brave. You are a brave boy, buddy. Okay, you wanna look away? You wanna look at mommy? Oh, my new truck. Avenger? Which one you like better? Samson. Wow, look at Avenger. How many colors does he have? Okay, Kellen, you're gonna feel a little purple. pinch, okay, buddy? You see the two? -doo? Pokey, no big deal. This guy is Pokey, amazing. <laughs> He's looking straight at everything. Pokey, okay. Oh, it's gonna be pokey, pokey. Okay, little poke, Kellen, okay? Poke. Wow. Poke. Oh, you're so good. You're fine. Okay. One second, Kelly. Can you hold on one second? Look at me. Look at me, Mama. Hey. Look at Mama. Look at Samson. You're so brave. I know. Can I get you to come close? I'm hold his arm for you. You're doing so good. Kelly, I need you to just relax your head for a second. It's going to be over really soon, okay? Look at Mommy. Which one I got? Which one's for me, Kelly? Mommy has your monster fight? Look. Look at the monster tricks. What's that? Okay. You did it. Good job. Oh, there you go. You're done, baby. 
Good boy. I'm not 100% sure whether it's still in there, guys, but... <laughs> <laughs> Just too little. Oh, it is perfect. Good job, baby. You're all done. Wow, you did really Good well. Boy. Thank you. Thank you so much. And I'm sorry that that took so long. Just a little bit. You didn't even cry. <laughs> Another amazing kid, yeah. He can go really. He brought a roll to that, I think. Okay, so no more ouchies, no more pinches. This is just going to go in here, okay, Kellen? You are done today for pinches. You got your quota. There you go, buddy. Buddy. Just lay down. Lay down. There you go. Yeah. Said, you know, he's not going to have any memory of anything from here forward. We want to give him a big kiss. We will take excellent care of him. Oh, okay, Dad. Um, did you have a blanket or we have one in the car? Yeah, yeah. would you okay. please? Yeah. Right yeah. now. Oh. Thank you. Pardon me. I'm hey, reaching buddy. around you oh, here. Oh, Sorry, guys. He's so cute. <laughs> Sleep. Everything is stable. Thanks to Dr. Hussein. We always uh, <laughs> appreciate your services. <laughs> um, he has a lot of cavities. As you see on that x-ray, uh, all his primary molars are affected. They are very deep. And they are also close to the nerve, so he may end up getting a few laser pulpotomies. Um, we will be doing the laser pulpotomy with the I plus laser. And uh, we will also do a labial phrenectomy. We just applied the isolite, which is a nice system of providing bite support and isolation so that we can work without any concerns of things falling into the mouth and it also has a nice suction feature in it. Now we've exposed uh, the tooth and we have a very deep cavity on one of the teeth but the gums are irritated so we're going to use the laser to stop the bleeding on the gums and make the gums recede. So now we're going to use the laser to remove the uh, pulp chamber, the soft tissue from the pulp chamber, or the top part of the nerve within the tooth. And this is uh, accomplished with absolutely no trauma. We're amputating the pulp chamber. I mean the pulpotomy stuff. Yeah. And this is MTA, mineral trioxide aggregate. It's a very biocompatible material that uh, we use to um, for direct cappings and for perforations. At this point we're applying a self-etching adhesive, in this case brush and bond in order to avoid having to etch all over again and disrupting our uh, cements. Get stuck. Getting stuck here. Yeah. 
Well, now we are adding layers of composite, building up the teeth very gradually. Okay. Hyperdrive now. Are done. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're just waking up the patient, uh, taking out the throat pack, suctioning out the uh, the oropharynx, making sure that there's no debris back there. And this is a you know progressive wake up. You just sort of minimized or start lowering the amount of medications for the last 15, 20 minutes of the case, and naturally the patient starts to. Uh, emerge out of the deep state of anesthesia. Um, taking off the tape here that was protecting the eyes. And this is the nasotracheal tube that helps the patient maintain a patent airway while protecting the airway at the same time. Um, so this is a general anesthetic. The patient is fully under, uh, though they are breathing most of the time, breathing on their own. Uh, but if they're not, we do help ventilate them or help them breathe through this circuit here attached to this portable end machine. Those uh, mountains and valleys that you see on the monitor, the EKG on top, the pulse ox in the middle, and the blood pressure at the, mo uh, at the bottom. So these are all uh, the same monitoring techniques that would be used in a surgical center or in a hospital environment. So the level of care is uh, equivalent to having it done in that environment. Of course, we're only doing dental surgery here, so the, the, the um, severity or the uh, invasiveness of the procedure is fairly minimal and the health of the patient is, is uh, optimal. So when you combine a, a minor procedure with a uh, healthy individual, uh, making this you know, an anesthetic that is very predictable and, and extremely safe in this environment. Uh. Good job, Kellen. Take a deep breath. Take a deep breath.
You start to swallow. Good and job. Cough, cough, cough. There you go. You're ready. I think he's going to be perfectly fine by tomorrow. Okay. Today, of course, he's going to be groggy, okay? And uh, so, as I was saying, typically post-operatively, the, the double blurry vision, sometimes children feel that they can't see very much at all, so he may say that he can't see. Uh, that typically lasts about 15 to 30 minutes. Uh, the nausea vomiting is fairly uncommon. He's received some anti-nausea medication. Sometimes that's not 100% effective. So, uh, you may still have some residual nausea. What you do is start with some clear liquids, some water, or apple juice, see how he tolerates that. If he keeps that down and he doesn't have any problems, then you can move on to perhaps some dairies. And then if the dairies are going well, then back to normal diet. Now this may take, you know, maybe all of an hour, or it may take a little longer, depending on, you know, how nauseous he is, or how groggy he is, and how willing uh, he is to eat and drink. Okay. okay, so I wouldn't force him to eat, but I would encourage him to drink as much as possible, just to clear out the meds and, and have him go to the bathroom as much as possible and flush out the system. Okay. okay. Other than that, he had a breathing tube through the right nostril, the right nostril, yes, and that of course was sitting right into the trachea, so he's going to have a bit of a sore throat. You may see a little trickle of blood from that right nostril, uh, but nothing major. Okay. And other than that, just you know, keep him as immobile as possible for a good portion of the afternoon. Of course, he's a young kid. He's going to want to run around and <laughs> jump and do all sorts of crazy things. <laughs> Any questions regarding anything? You're good? Um, okay. Too, yeah. Alright, so for painkiller, you can give him either Tylenol or Motrin. Okay. So what I would do is get home, he's keeping fluids down. If he's relatively weight, then perhaps give him a dose of one of those two. Okay, and then I'll go to sleep. Okay? So Alright, well, let's go back. Yeah, you're very welcome, yeah, of course. My it? Oh, yes, he's ready. Uh, he's, you know, he's still probably a little drowsy, but he may be ready to, to, to converse with you guys at this point. Right into that position. So, as always, I try to avoid palpotomies. Uh, so we just did a palpotomy on one tooth. The rest of the teeth we uh, cleaned up and we used the laser, and we stopped short of the palpotomy, so the teeth have better chances of healing. He did great. Uh, the frenum that was severed on the top, under the lip, uh, with the laser, that's going to heal really fast. Uh, it will look a little bit like an ulcer. It will be a little sore to touch, but it will heal within 10 days. You will see a new skin form. And over the next week or so, kind of move his lip a little bit back and forth. Give it a little bit of an uh, of, you know, exercise and stretching so that it, it doesn't attach below. It kind of stays up. Um, you will see the teeth with composites. They're all tooth colored. Uh, they're not mercury amalgams. Any thoughts about why amalgams are used still in other clinics? I think probably it's just the cheaper alternative. Yeah. You know, that's why. Yeah. But you were aware that they're half mercury? And, oh, yes. Yeah. yeah, we definitely wanted to avoid that little cost. Yeah. <laughs> and I mean, wouldn't you prefer that children not get amalgams at all as parents, right? Oh, absolutely. I mean, it shouldn't be an option yeah, anymore. The way right? that's an option, and I think in most other countries it's not at this point. Yeah, it's yeah, they're almost shocking, banned right? to be placed in Europe on children and pregnant mothers. Yeah. I was actually surprised that when they said that that's all they would cover with the insurance. Yeah. 
She was so. pretty sad, is it? Yeah, I was. <laughs> Well, with modern bonding agents, I mean, it's really obsolete when they say that amalgams will not last, they're not strong enough. Um, modern day composites and bonding agents, they're so strong that, I mean, they will definitely last at least six to seven years before those teeth fall out. So that argument is obsolete right now. So the whole idea of uh, financially challenged or compromised parents having to uh, settle with lower than standard treatment. And when we consider amalgam fillings on children lower than standard, do you think it's fair? No. Because <laughs> it's you know, it's if, very if, if, if parents have a good insurance, right, they have a good PPO insurance and they have most of the treatment covered, so they would be entitled to get better composite fillings that, uh, you know, better treatment, um, but then financially compromised parents will not get the best treatment for their children. I mean, this is a big problem we're having in our country, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Heartbreaking choice to have to make, you know, to try to afford something you can't, or to have to put something poisonous and dangerous into your child. So it's, it's very scary inside. And, yeah, <laughs> this is a good experience for him, you know. It'll be all better. Keep brushing and flossing well now. <laughs> you want to sit down? Oh, hey, sweet pea. Oh, look, look at that. what we got. <gasps> this is the purple one. The monster truck. Hi, Kellen. You want to lay back down? Can I sit with you? Okay. I'm just going to end. He's probably lay back down because he's still girl. You want to lay back down? I know, everything's a little weird. I doubt he'll stay asleep in the car. Say it again? I doubt he'll stay asleep in the car. Oh, usually they, they tend to go right back to sleep. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. You know, they get comfortable with a familiar place and they sort of relax. It's okay. Hi! Mary, can you be here? Just a sleepy head. Look at what you have! What is it? Purple. It's purple one, Kelly. For mama. Should mommy open it? Yeah? Oh. <laughs> I got a yes. I was in it. Open? Open. What color is? Purple? Can you say purple? Purple. 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 Wow. Oh, that was something. What's that? Whoa. I got it. Mm. I got that trash. I can put the trash away. Ooh. What's that that goes on it? What is that? How does it go in there? Let me help you. Cool. Yeah. Uh, you always wanted a purple one. We found one. She always said purple. I don't think it goes right. It goes there. It goes up. Wow. Ooh, wow, you got it. Awesome. <laughs> Such a good boy. You're so great. Are you what, sleeping? You so brave for your poke. How are you feeling, Bubba? Is you okay? Yeah? Did you sleepy? No. <laughs> How's your little teeth? Wait, oh, your little throat, huh? Is it sore? You're very welcome. Not at all. My pleasure. Alright, guys. Have a good one. Say bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs>
Say bye-bye, Kellen. Bye, Kellen. Bye-bye. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Show me his teeth. Yeah. You just have such cute little teeth. Give a big smile to the camera. Big smile. Show your teeth to the camera. <laughs> oh my goodness, his teeth are so cute. All right, so let's see, sweetie. Wow, they look so beautiful. Everything is white and clean. I bet you're brushing your teeth every day, right? Do you also brush it yourself? Right. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Both you and mom? Mm -hmm. Good. Okay, thank you. Do you also floss? Okay, bye. Mm -hmm. You have those flossing, little sticks right? Yeah, you that you that? recommended. Okay. It's very he important. Likes to do that. Yeah. That's the easiest one for little kids. Yes, it does. Wow. No complaints. And there's... Mm, good. Oh, and uh, this is all almost healed, the laser phrenectomy. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Did he complain about the lip at all? No? Nope. Every time I asked him if it was sore, he said, no, boo boo, all done. Yeah? Oh. You're still uh, <laughs> exercising the lip? Uh huh. Yeah? Yeah, he does that. Good job. Well, there's really nothing else we are going to do. That's it. He's in good condition. We'll just keep an eye on him and maybe have him in for cleanings every six months. Okay? okay? All right, you're done. Now you can go and enjoy your day. Do you have any plans? Are you going to do something today? Yeah. Something fun? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Are you swimming? better? Are we swimming today, guys? Ooh, it's hot. Good day for swimming. How about we go to the toy box? Yeah, you want to go to the treasure box? Let's go. Let's yeah, go. let's go check it out. 